Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome if you are new. So today I'm kicking off my spring cleaning series with a deep refrigerator cleaning. Yes, I know it's not spring yet, but I wanted to get a head start on my spring cleaning. Number one, because I have a lot to do. And number two, I don't want to spend my spring indoors cleaning. I want to be outside. So anyway... Um, this video is extra special because it is actually my first collaboration as well. This video is collaborated with Diane over on Mom Life. I will leave her link in the iCard above and down below in the description. So once you're done here, go ahead and check her out and like her video and subscribe to her channel as well. She does similar content to mine. If you're coming over from Diane's channel, welcome! I am really glad to have you here. I also want to say thank you for taking your time to check out my video. Hopefully you'll consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button down below. I would greatly appreciate it. So first I started by cleaning the outside of my fridge. Big mistake, by the way, <laughs> because by the end I had handprints all over it anyway. Then I just emptied out the first few shelves. I only did the first few because I was doing this while my son was still awake, so if I ended up getting interrupted, I wouldn't have a ton of food out on the counters. Next, I used the Method Anti-Bat Cleaner and the Citron Scent. Um, I sprayed down the shelves and then I went through the food that I already took out, and then I went back and wiped down the shelves. Um, I would have rather used soap and water, but I am unable to take my fridge fridge shelves out um, just because of the way that we have it set it up. I can't open my doors all the way. Um, but then, so I sorted and discarded all of the bad and expired food, <clears throat> and then I began to put everything back and moved onto the door shelves. So since I was able to take the shelves out from the door, I went ahead and used the Lime and Sea Salt Method dish soap to clean them up with the walnut scrubber. Um, it was just so much easier than using paper towels and um, a spray. And then I just went back in with the anti-back and wiped down the doors and all the grooves and everything. So I just wanted to give Diane from Mom Life another shout out. 
I greatly appreciate doing this collaboration. Um, it's pretty awesome that I get to make new friends here in this YouTube community and um, connecting with other moms as well, going through the same stuff as me is just awesome. Like, it's just something that I needed. Um, so thank you again to Diane. Make sure you guys go over and check out her video um, that we are collaborating on and check out her channel, period. Um, she does similar content that, content that I do. Um, so if you enjoy mine, definitely go ahead and check her out and make sure you guys subscribe as well. So in my fridge I try to keep everything pretty organized and I don't use my drawers for like fruits and vegetables like I think you're supposed to. Um, I generally use it for like my cheese and deli meats and then the very bottom is like my snacks. Um, I do that because on the second shelf as you can see is where I keep all of my produce just so it's like out there right in front of my face when you open the door. Um, that just makes me pick out healthier choices when I go to open the fridge and grab a snack. Um, and then on the top shelf, I keep like leftovers on the second shelf is produce. Third shelf is big bottles of barbecue sauce and then drinks. And then on the very bot on the very bottom shelf is where I tend to keep my raw meats. And then moving on to the freezer, it really wasn't that bad. I just needed to get it organized. And while I was organizing it, I found out that we had an abundance of frozen steamable corn and broccoli. <laughs> like, I think I probably get four packs of each every single time I go to the grocery store. So we were left with like a lot. Um, these shelves I was able to pull out, which was great because spraying a liquid into the freezer just does not work, obviously. Um, so I just used the lime and sea salt soap again here, and then I sprayed everything down on the side with the anti -back and wiped it down. So the top of my fridge is where I generally keep my cereal and then I also have those little party cups that you can get for a dollar pretty much anywhere. Um, and then I have a bucket of potty trading toys and then my coffee cup of stir sticks because right next to the fridge on the counter is my coffee maker and I just cannot find a good spot for my coffee sticks. So they go on top of the fridge. And then I just use the anti back again to wipe down the top of the fridge.
All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking around and cleaning out my refrigerator with me. Hopefully it gives you some good cleaning motivation to get your fridge cleaned out as well. And don't forget to go check out Diane's channel. Um, give her a thumbs up and subscribe as well. She does similar content to mine, and I think you'll definitely enjoy her. Thank you, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Thank you.